What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Vega Babe. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I did go live today and I had a good chit chat. These are my new glasses and these are actually, the frames for these are actually shades. I wanted a thicker, you know, a thicker frame. So I looked at the shades and she had to pop them out so I could get a visual. But there's, I still want bigger ones. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go for the dramatics. I just don't want no average pair of glasses. I don't wanna be regular, okay? So I decided I'm gonna take these frames back tomorrow and have progressives put in. So progressive is like the reading glasses on the bottom and for distance is on the top. <laughs> just like a mullet. <laughs> you know business on the top party in the bottom however it goes <laughs> so I'm gonna take them back because what happens these are just single vision and it's just for distance which is fine but if I was if I had my cell phone and I look down and it's close up I have to take them off because th these this script is for distance for seeing something far away and I can see fine without glasses um, but it just makes it a little sharper, but I, I'm not, you know, I don't rely on my glasses to see. I see some people, they have to have their glasses. That's not where I'm at. So I'm like, I don't want two pair of glasses. So I'm just going to take them back because it's annoying. So like if I'm driving and there are directions and I look down, you know, not texting, whatever, and I'm looking at the directions, I won't be able to read anything but or I have to take the glasses off. So it's just annoying. It's, it's annoying any anytime I look down. But with progressives, I look down, they kind of switch to the reading portion of the glasses. So anyway, that's not why I got on this live. So please give this video a thumbs up, um, share the channel, click like, click share, click the thumbs up for your girl, does not cost you anything. I'm only talking about this because I didn't know. I had no clue and at my age, you know, it's a little embarrassing really. It's really embarrassing. So I know I've mentioned before that, you know, I've been going back and forth to the doctor. Some of you already know that, um, you know, I crave ice. I love my, ice. ooh, just saying the word ice literally makes my mouth water. <laughs> and when you crave a lot of ice, um, that could be a sign um, that you're anemic, meaning your iron is low. Um, and I knew mine was low. I kind of knew. I've known for years that I've been anemic. I've also known for years that I've been severely anemic. That's why I'm always cold. Even when I went to the specialist today, so I've been back and forth to doctors. Even when I went to the specialist today, she's like, why do you have that sweater on? It was hot. I was like, because I'm always cold. <laughs> she was like, right, that's your anemia. And she looked at my numbers and stuff. And once again, I just want to reiterate. I want to repeat. I want to say it again. <laughs> so um, that um, I, I was not aware of this until I, I, I talked to uh, my girlfriend. And I was like, do you have this problem, such and such problem? And she was like, oh, no, that's not normal. That's not normal. <laughs> So I'm severely, severely anemic. And so my my numbers were so low, scary low, that she um, referred me to a specialist, to a hematologist, um, to look at my numbers and to get me an iron infusion as soon as possible. So my iron count is really, really low. So I went to the specialist today and um, she looked at my numbers and she was like, and it was a sister, okay? You know, I, you know, I'm, you, you just bond. I was just an instant bond. And she was mad cool. And she was like, so do you feel dizzy? How do you feel? Do you feel lightheaded? You know, she asked me all these questions. I'm like, no. Once in a blue 
blue moon. Once in a blue moon, I may get a little dizzy, but nothing, you know, nothing that I, you know, wanted to say, oh, I need to go to the doctor. So no, once in a blue moon, I might feel a little dizzy or something if I get up real fast. I don't know. So nothing that that makes red flags go up or, you know, that, an alarm or whatever. And she was asking me all these questions. And I was like, no. She said, do you feel tired? I said, yeah, I feel tired sometimes. But, you know, I just keep going. I said, do you think it's a black thing? You know, a black woman is strong. They just keep going and going and going. She says a lot of times, yes, it is. You know, no matter what, you know, they feel as though they got to keep going. They're not going to let anything stop them. It is a cultural thing as well. And she says, I had another lady who came in here. Her numbers were even lower than yours. My iron numbers or my blood count, whatever, should be in double digits. Mine is in single, low, low, single digits. <laughs> and um, so they're very concerned. So she was like, you need a blood transfusion and an iron transfusion. I was like, blood? What? She's like, yes, your numbers are very low. So my number was like and it should be I think she said it should be like 15 I mean something like that and she was like yeah your numbers are too low and she says well you have to find out why your numbers are low so I do have an appointment with a gynecologist and this is the part where I'm a little embarrassed but I'm only sharing my story because maybe it can help someone else um, I had no clue that my my uh, monthly friend that shows up, my period that shows up, my menstrual cycle is so, so heavy. It's almost like a hemorrhage every month. And she says that and I explained what was going on and she was like, no, that is not normal. And she says, are you, you are done having kids. I'm like, yes, yes I am. <laughs> She said, so, you know, um, if you don't take care of the stuff with the gynecologist and find out what's going on, then when we give you the blood and iron transfusion, it'll be like a vicious cycle. You have to fix one problem, the bleeding problem, in order for the other problem. She said, but your numbers are so low right now, even if they recommended surgery for your issue um they wouldn't even um do surgery on you right now because your blood is so is too low so my point is if you're anemic and your, your liver has a chance of um malfunctioning so um so i have to see the gyn so i go back to the doctor to see a gyn to find out why my periods are so heavy. And then I call a gynecologist to make an appointment. So I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. So I call a gynecologist to make an appointment. And she asked me some, some questions. And she says, and, and what, I'm going to reiterate this one more time. The only reason I'm talking about this is because maybe someone else is having a similar issue. Or you had this issue and this will happen to you. And you have some advice for me. Or I'm having this issue and you can relate to my issue. And you know you need to get your butt some help. So this is why. So maybe my story can help someone else. Or maybe your story can help me or encourage me or give me that support that I need. And that's the only reason why I'm, I'm sharing. And so, um, so when I talked to the gynecologist today, she said, um, how often do you have to change when you get your, mm -mm? and I said, I have to change every 45 minutes to an hour. And that is with a tampon and a pad every four, the first, the first two days is like nonstop nightmare. So even if I get my thing at school, I have to leave each class period with my class to go to the bathroom. So what I have six periods plus my planning period, seven periods. So during the day I'm changing. So I change just before my class comes. So I'm probably changing eight times within seven to eight hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, the lady was like, that is no um way to live like that and she was like that's that's not that's not um what did she say she's that she's that's no lifestyle something she said she said that's not a good way to live that's that's not a normal way to live or something i forgot how she worded it 
And she says, yeah, you need to come in right away. And your blood count is low. Your iron is low. So she squeezed me in. And I, I prefer a female doctor because I got new insurance. So I had to switch, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, at this point, I don't care. I'll see whoever is available. And she said, no, um, Dr. Michael is very, very good. And um, so they squeezed me in like emergency for me to see the GYN to see what um, the next plan of action in. And then I wait in for my insurance to approve the blood and iron transfusion. And she says it takes four hours for the transfusion. And I, I don't know, I still may decline the blood, but try the iron, so I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I just have that negative stigma about the blood you know but i'm quite sure they they've made so i don't know so i still have that i still have that choice but um she says that they need to fix the internal problem before because i'm losing blood some kind of way that i'm losing i'm losing massive massive amounts of blood and i'm cold all the time and i said i crave ice all the time she said yeah and she said, there's no nutritional value with that. What's I was like, but it's good. It tastes like steak. It's so good. <laughs> um, and I love the, um, you know, the hematologist. She was so wonderful. Made me feel comfortable. Didn't make me feel bad about my situation or anything. She says, we're going to take good care of you. You will have to sit there for four hours for your transfusions, though. So... Um, any words of encouragement if you've experienced something like, I mean, I'm at an age too, and technology is so amazing. I had another friend, um, she had a hysterectomy, terrible bleeding. I don't have severe cramping. I do have some cramping, and as I get older, it's getting worse. Um, but it's tolerable. You know, I could pop up one, you know, two aspirin for the day, and I'm good. And I call all painkillers aspirin, okay? So, and, um... So it's not the cramps and stuff is not bad. The, the, the um the bleeding is just terrible. The bleeding. This is gonna sound gross. The you know other things that come out is just it's just terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Those first two days is just terrible. It's just I just it's so bad. I just want to just sit on the toilet and just stay there for two straight days. So I will go through a whole box of tampons in the past. If I when I go to bed at night, there is no way I can go to bed at night just with a pad on. I have to I have to have both a pad and a tampon. So I know this was kind of gross and very personal, but if this can help you or you can help me, um, so that that's the only reason why I wanted to talk about it. And I did mention that you know I was going back and forth to the doctor. My daughter went back and forth to the doctor, um, but she's fine. She's fine. And so my B12 level was fine. The B12 was fine. Pap smear, fine. And you want to get those things, um, you know, once you reach a certain age. It's just, it's. I would say it's better to know than not know. I had another associate of mine that says, you know, you know I guess she doesn't believe in mammograms and all that stuff. But I feel as though it's better, to, in my case, I say it's better to know than not know. You know, how do you know you have a problem if you don't get checked out? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm looking forward to the iron transfusion. Um, maybe I won't feel so tired. Maybe that's why I'm going for the energy drinks. Some days I just want to lay in bed and nobody understands why I'm so tired. <laughs> well, the kids. And some days I just want to lay there. And then some days I just fight it. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to let this beat me. And maybe my ADHD kind of helps me a little bit. So I don't know. It's just a little bit of everything. Okay. So with that said, please leave your comments um, below. And if you've had a similar experience, please share it out with me. Or if you know someone else who have had a similar experience, um, I'm just ready for it to stop. You know, I'm tired of feeling tired all the time. The ice is good, okay? So, <laughs> I know it's not good for me, but it's good. But I know it's, you know, because of the anemia. And, um, you know, I'm feeling cold, though. I'm always cold. <laughs> That's my little update. I just want to give a little update very quickly before I retire for the evening. And I'm getting ready to go um, to bed. I'm going to shower and go to bed. And, um... 
so just leave your comments below and I, of course i'll keep you guys i'll keep you guys posted and updated i'm fine they just have to figure out you know why you know i'm i'm ready for them to do whatever because look a sister is done